Hello everyone. Uh, today I'll be speaking about a unique story from the Himalayas. I'll be taking you to the journey where some of the inhabitants across the Himalaya have learned how to dealt with their human waste more wisely than we may expect. And also how with small scientific input we have helped it improve a lot. So I am from Northeast India and I am currently working in this institute where the mandate of the institute is to utilize the bio resources of the Himalaya for catalyzing bioeconomy in a very sustainable manner. So and all my PhD work and postdoctoral work were all concentrated in the issues of Himalaya. So it always fascinated me. In my current affiliation, the head of the institute has always asked us to concentrate our research work in such a way that it caters to the society at its best. So for this reason, uh, we have targeted this work and his main concern was on the solid waste management issues. As we know, solid waste management issue is a grave concern everywhere. But in terms of Himalaya, it has a unique characteristic because Himalaya has tough terrain. It has remote locations and the urbanization has been increasing. And as compared to plain areas, the because of the climatic condition, the composting, vermicomposting is also delayed. Also due to the lack of area for dumping, you can find a lot of open burning and also dumping of the waste in the river streams, freshwater streams that goes up to the plain area. The Himalaya is also very popular among the tourists and it has around 100 million tourist footfall every year. So you can imagine the amount of waste it is getting from both its inhabitant as well as the tourist footfall. So as per the statistics, we found that from past few decades, uh, uh, when municipal solid waste was analyzed, 50% of the waste was organic waste. So as a microbiologist, we were quite confident to intervene into this area. After joining this institute in August 2017, it was during our first field expedition that we first came across this concept of dry toilets in the high Himalaya. So while we were moving around the villages of Lahol Valley in Himachal Pradesh, we observed that there were a lot of changes happening like mountain tracks were converted into cemented pavement, some old wooden muddy house, mud houses were also getting converted into concrete houses. But still there was one unique thing which made us very inquisitive. In every house, almost every house had a separate two-story structure. So while trying to know more about it, uh, we came across one of the residents who was also former principal of the village school and he started explaining us about this unique structure. So we followed him to his residence and there we found that in the among uh, in, in the two story structure the first the first floor that was also connected to their living house through a railing uh, it was the defecation chamber you can see also in the image here and there they defecate and it was getting collected into the ground floor of the two story structure which was also called collection chamber and there the human waste which was which is also called as night soil was getting collected and in every six months they used to take it to outside and put it in their agriculture farmland so <clears throat> and uh, while after defecating they had a practice to cover the fecal material with the dry leaves cattle dry waste or ash the mixture which they kept in their toilet was locally called as fort. Hence, the compost obtained from the traditional dry toilet was a useful input for the agriculture in the region and it was the only source of organic manure to sustain the mountain agroecosystem of the region. As such, the region experiences very little to minimum uh, rainfall during monsoon and heavy snowfall during the winter as the water availability is one of the major concerns in the region. And it was so nice to observe how people in these remote villages traditionally knew to conserve water and sustainably maintain their human waste for some benefit. 
in the himalayan cold desert these dry toilets locally called as ghoo help conserve water during freezing winter and it also helps sustain organic farming with manure supply so when winter sets in people increasingly depend on the dry toilet and later in the year uh, the decomposed night soil or human waste is used as manure for the farms if you see the records in india 78% imagine 78% of generated waste sewage waste particularly remains untreated and here we were witnessing the remotest of village in the lap of the high himalaya they were using traditional knowledge to manage the human waste and for something useful so record says that one of the largest pressure on water resources in our country arises from the improper management of the fecal waste so while rest of the country grappling with the problem of water wastage due to fecal waste this example of traditional dry toilet is strange when we moved more around the villages uh, we found many of the structures the two story structures were unused and looked like it was getting abandoned so to know more about it we met the village panchayat and according to him it was due to adoption of septic tanks and rising social concerns uh, also increase in modernization that people were moving around from moving living around this a traditional practice and they were moving towards modernization so looks like uh, it looked like influx of tourism and modernization had brought social stigma and it seems like they were not getting laborers or people around the village to carry out the human waste up to the field people were restoring to the modernization but uh, according to the village headman it was also taking a toll to its to the pocket of the people who were not using it uh, when we were there in the month of october it was mild winter and we observed frozen water even during that season you can see the image here and so it was uh, you can imagine the condition during peak winters when the water gets frozen it is very difficult uh, to use the septic toilet and it becomes economically unviable for the common people to procure water for managing flush toilets so the traditional system was designed to conserve water and in turn produce organic manure so another disadvantages of getting away from this uh, traditional system was unavailability of the organic manure so the people had no choice to but to depend on the chemical fertilizer and that was all uh, very bad for the already fragile soil system of the mountain agro ecosystem since our head of the institute wanted us to work on the issue of solid waste management so we took this opportunity to work on the regional issue of himalayan dry toilets as our priority so as a microbiologist myself and after the discussion with the team of us team in our lab uh, we realized that for generations locals have relied on naturally occurring bacteria to degrade the waste and due to extreme cold weather condition the microbial load must have been very very poor as a result at the onset of the summer once bacterial decomposition begins mildly uh, it must be releasing lot of foul odor and to uh, that was the uh, one of the most uh, talked after uh, uh, issue in uh, uh, from the villager that uh, in the onset of the summer uh, the foul order makes it more difficult to be used so also the quality of the compost was not good uh, as one would expect so additionally at in in some of the villages we found that due to lack of awareness people were also using pine needles which is very otherwise also very it difficult to get decomposed and also people were throwing plastics and also pouring some water which was diluting the uh, bacterial load even more so the decomposition of organic biomass is dependent on its microbial population and in such areas where there is prolonged winter and most of the time sub zero temperature the decomposition of any organic waste is very very slow and the first phase of composting which is the most crucial phase for decaying the organic material is generally very inactive in the cold temperature so we in our lab we decided to formulate an indigenous bacterial consortium 
to help in the first phase of composting. So what we did, we collected samples from different matured stages of the night soil compost when it was taken out in the field. We brought the samples in the laboratory. We isolated uh, a cold tolerant bacteria, bacteria which could tolerate up to at least up to 4 degrees Celsius. And we took two conditions. One condition was that the bacteria which we were using were the most potential hydrolytic bacteria. That means they could degrade whatever biomass was uh, available in the human waste. They were potent to degrade that biomass. And also another condition we kept that any bacteria which we were using were also having plant growth promoting attributes. So the compost which was getting prepared was also good for the agriculture farmland. What we thought like if we give them the bacterial consortia, it will not be very easy for them to be used. So what we did to make it more user friendly, we uh, amended the bacteria with some carrier materials and we chose the carrier material in such a way that it is also good for the soil. So we made a pack of 10 kg bags and we distributed it among the farmers and they had to do no change but the, in place of the dry leaf or the cattle dung which they, they were using earlier which they used to call fort, they just had to replace the fort and use the material supplied by us. So in the first phase we gave it to three household only in one of the village and the feedback obtained was very very encouraging so they said and likewise like we started getting a lot of demand from the other dry toilet users so while interacting with the users one of the users explained that earlier if they were taking out 20 bamboo basket 20 kiltas they call that is the bamboo basket of a night soil compost in the agriculture field well, after using our material uh, he could get only 10 kiltas 10 bamboo basket but there was very encouraging information for us that meant that the biodegradation, the decomposition process was much enhanced uh, after using our material. So since we gave uh, the material for first time use, it got so popular that we had to conduct a lot of awareness program, interaction program and training programs, uh, uh, the methods to use this product so this year in 2020 december and 2021 january we have distributed it to about 160 households for the use and look uh, with popularity in lahol area even people from spiti valley have also demanded it and in fact in ladakh we have been working in collaboration with uh, the local authority and recently we have supplied 1000 kg of the compost booster that we have prepared. The material that we supplied, uh, we called it as compost booster. That was the formulation for orderless rapid night soil degradation. And with this product uh, and with growing demand, we are working with local authorities of the high Himalaya to develop a livelihood mechanism where a non-profit making organization, any of the NGOs or FPO would be uh, taken in consideration as implementing agency we give them the technology and we are generating a livelihood project with help of some of the funding agencies the small intervention from us the scientific intervention from us is repopularizing this traditional practice and more people who were who earlier had abandoned the uh, dry toilet uh, structures are now uh, reusing it with the support from us and with quality compost production, household with agriculture fields are also more interested to take up this uh, dry toilet to sustain their agriculture uh, farmland with uh, quality compost. Uh, the idea was only to repopularize the already existing traditional practice and with small scientific intervention, uh, we have got a lot of success. And mainly due to the reduction in the foul order, many people are now taking up the traditional practice with more enthusiasm. And mostly people who are having agriculture farmland, they are more interested to take up this project, this dry toilet concept, because it is also giving them quality compost for their farmland. 
so we are hoping to save the practice more efficiently with more science and technology and if we can make uh, the dry toilet more hygienic and more user friendly with engineering aspect as well so uh, apart from the dry toilet we are also extending the work towards overall uh, organic waste management in the himalayan region in the state of sikkim and in some other part of himachal pradesh we have also taken up some livelihood project based on composting where we are using uh, cow dung cattle waste uh, with green biomass to uh, produce quality and rich compost for livelihood generation and so overall we are hoping to have more initiative like this for uh, the aspect of uh, solid waste management and so that we can uh, do something about solid waste management in the himalayan region thank you so much